ba 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 Notorious Nation, thanks for coming to another video. Today we're at Buddy's Burgers, Breasts and Fries, taking on their Can You Conquer the Enemy Challenge, which is two big burgers with eight patties each and a lot of french fries. I'm not going to be able to use a lot of the stuff I say inside the restaurant today, though. It's going to have to be all voiceover because they're playing music, and I don't have the copyright to that music. So let's head inside and, and check out the challenge. Welcome to this delicious challenge. Right off the bat, I'm separating the burgers. This is eight burger patties piled up on top of each other. I'm doing hundreds of these things in the past. I noticed that I really need to separate the burgers right at the get-go and get some um, air in there so they cool off those middle burgers. They're the ones that you can possibly burn yourself on when you're doing a challenge like this. So I separate the burgers, start with the french fries, and boy, are these some good french fries. I've never eaten at Buddy's Burgers, Breasts, and Fries before, but I'm definitely going to stop there and eat some of these fries at a normal pace. These fries are incredibly flavored, very delicious. I get a lot of questions what I drink during these challenges, and today I'm using cold water only because the burger is hot itself. So I'm using uh, very cold water, no ice, but just cold. So if I do get in a situation where I uh, feel like I'm going to burn my mouth, I can just quickly drink cold water. I usually use warm water though. I'm starting on the burger now, and you can see I, I split them right down the middle luckily, so I'm trying to eat them what's called open face, or just bread on the one side, and I can just barely kind of fit them in my mouth, so it almost worked out like I was eating like a hamburger. I much prefer this technique over just separating and eating the burger meat by itself. This challenge was, while still big, it was still more of a regular food, just a lot of it. The combination of the cheese between each patty and the bacon really made this a delicious hamburger. This hamburger is probably easily one of my top 10 I've had in my lifetime, which is almost 53 years. But it you know, may be even higher, but I just had so many burgers, it's really hard to say that's the number one burger. But it is right up there. Buddy's has three locations. This location is in Exton, PA. It's about a half hour from my house. If you're in the area, Buddy's is definitely worth a visit. Go get yourself a burger and see what a real hamburger tastes like. The manager of the store turned the background music off for me, so now you can hear my commentary from here on out. I'll let a lot of this play through. Just running that bacon and cheese. Man, just barely fit four of these in The listed weight of this challenge is five and a half pounds, which seems pretty accurate to me. It wasn't weighed and I did not bring my scale, I forgot to, but it, it seems like something that um, some people, real big eaters, might be able to do. You don't have a lot of time to do it. I think you only have 25 minutes. So it's not real easy for people to do, but I do think there's gonna be some non-competitive eaters that will have a shot of doing this. That broad challenge I've had. This easily has been probably my top two or three tasting challenges. If you notice by how I'm swallowing the food, I'm not forcing this food down at all. I'm actually kind of taking my time because the food does taste good. I have no incentive to rush here. Uh, so I, I, this is a little bit slower than I normally would eat. Uh, you would typically see me not... Uh, yeah, bacon. Taking such small bites and I would, I would be swallowing a lot larger bites a lot quicker. But this was a really good tasting challenge. Now is also a good time for me to address why I stand or sit down when I do these challenges. Well, right now I'm seated because I'm in a restaurant, but if you ever see someone my size seated doing an eating contest, you know they're absolutely not doing their best they can. 
Uh, when I'm seated, my stomach gets compressed because I'm such a big person and it's much harder to eat sitting down, but I'm also in a restaurant, so I'm trying to act normal and just eat fast versus, and you know, not make myself uh, a big mess here. Uh, if I'm in an eating contest or I'm actually trying to eat as fast as possible, I'll always be in a standard position because it just uh, opens up my stomach and allows the it to expand much quicker and fuller. First time I ever done bacon in the oven. You can see I'm working on the second hamburger and I'm very pleased how the open face four patty burger is working out. Uh, it ends up being very thick with the cheese and bacon on there as well, but uh, I think it's it's looks like an almost like a normal hamburger at this point. I'm not too messy for the camera, so I'm very pleased with how the challenge is going. Yes, pretty much the only issue I'm having so far is the food tastes so good that I don't want to eat fast. But also you saw me somehow manage to put a piece of bacon in my eye. I just started wearing contacts again after taking a couple of years off. And of course, one of the first days I somehow throw a piece of meat into the eye. So I wanted to get in there and get it out, but I also didn't want to lose my contact so I could drive home. So this whole challenge consists of 16 patties of beef, 16 slices of cheese, 8 strips of bacon, served on 2 buns of course, and a large order of fries. And that's a pretty good order of fries. Uh, it's not a tremendous amount, but it is a lot of fries. Half burger left, these are three ounce patties each. So there's four of these on this burger, this half. The challenge did change a little bit. I think you used to have to pay for the challenge, $33, and then you would win a $33 gift card if you finished in 25 minutes. But now it's operating with you get the burger and they see if you finish it or not. If you don't finish in 25 minutes, you get charged with $33. If you do finish it in 25 minutes or less, then you don't get charged at all. Um, if you're successful, you also get a t-shirt. They don't really have a wall of fame to put a picture up. But one thing I did think was funny on the rules of the contest is they had to add in-store contestants only. I would assume that would be self-explanatory. You can't buy a challenge and take it home. But if someone has that in the rules, that means that people have actually asked if they could get the challenge, take it home, and then they would let them know if they finish in time, which seems kind of silly to me. The other two locations of Buddies are in Westchester, PA, and Kennett Square, PA. But I saw some signs for franchises, so hopefully someone wants a Buddies closer to me and buys a franchise, and if they put one in Warriors Ford, PA, I'll be there a lot. Come to think of it, maybe it's time for me to buy my own franchise and then I can eat these things every day of the week. Last plate of horse. It's gonna be the horse on. Thanks again for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon.